Well, the sun's very good today, which means I can get on and do some gardening. Welcome to the Veg Grab Podcast. Welcome everyone, and um, it's much better weather for gardening today. Um, obviously, I'm still in the pointy shed at the moment, and I'm going to be sowing a few seeds again. Um, I'm going to be sowing some chives and some aubergines. Just to uh, the chives are just to use them up. Uh, I set myself up last night actually. I filled two of these pots up with um, compost and water and pot them in the propagator to warm them up so they should be good to go i'm only doing two this week because the four that i sowed last week haven't quite shown any signs of life yet one here the onions are just just starting to show so um during the week i'd imagine we'll be moving those on to the next stage but anyway while i sow these i'm going to show you um my ochre harvest that i've done all right time and it's well overdue really but time to see how much ochre or new zealand gm as it's sometimes known as we have under here now I've probably left this a bit too late to be honest but I do find Ocker and New Zealand Yam stores incredibly well so we'll see how it gets on under here and this is going to be the last time it's actually going to be planted in this bed as I'm going to be moving it on to other places or another bed it takes very very little care all this to be honest um, all I've literally done is water it every now and then uh, even then it probably not enough as it should But it grows really well. <sighs> Despite all this bloody cooch grass I get. Yeah. This is one of the yams. I'll bring them up to the camera close a bit closer in a bit. But uh, yeah, there's quite a few already relatively decent actually coming out fairly cleanish as well there's just so many every time I sprinkle a bit around loads come out so pretty good, pretty good.
Uh, I'm exper I've got experiment with different ways of cooking Oka and finding recipes for them. I done them in St. Uh, Ren Chivies and stuff we, uh, a couple of years back and that was okay. To actually get some proper meals out of these, it's going to be a bit of a, a bit more of an experimentation, really. Anyone can av advise on any cooking recipes for easy than jam. That's a good, good lump of that out. I really appreciate it. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I'd really appreciate a few recipes. I find, I mean, the flavour on these on their own is pretty interesting. They're uh, kind of lemony, and uh, they kind of sold as similar to a potato in the seed shops. So. I don't know anybody else's experience with them. I like them. They're a bit fiddly to get clean, but the ones I'm pulling out today are actually quite uh, quite smooth. So they shouldn't be too bad. I don't think there's going to be many more, just give it one more dig over. And check. Oh, there's more. Oh, and even more. I think that'll do. I think any that are still there will probably grow back anyway. So we'll uh, worry about that when they grow back. I'm going to plant some of these again in a different bed. But overall, not bad. I'll bring it, bring it over. There we go. These are them. Once I've washed them off, you see that red and yellow, different, different kind of colours. But yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. All right, so my seeds are now sown. Now we are uh, living in a propagator for the next few, uh, next couple of weeks at least, I'd imagine. Um, now my battery's dying, so I'm going to have to make this quick. So uh, sign off. So um, yeah, the yucca harvest is really good. Really pleased with what I've got in there. Um, tastes good and everything else. So all should be well. 
Who's going to do a little competition? If anybody wants to win any Oka that I'll send to them, um, just leave a comment down below and I will pick the winner out of a hat. This competition will run until, we'll say Valentine's Day, the 14th of uh, February 2018. So all entrants in between before then and you must be from the UK just because of postage and stuff. So if you're interested in that, leave a comment below, say I want to be in it, and that'll be good for me. So until next time, please take care, and I'll see you all again then. <laughs>